So one of the main goals of our grant, our collaborative agreement with the FDA, is to work to demonstrate that the technology of gene editing is safe both to the animal itself and to human consumers of the food. So we're working to generate data that will show that animals that are gene edited are safe to eat. Gene editing, in the most simplest terms, is a biotechnology that we can use to go into to an exact location in the genome. And so the goal of gene editing then is to go into a gene of interest. If we want to eliminate that gene from being functional in the animal, we can break the DNA at a desired spot in that gene, repairs itself, and then hopefully that repair makes the gene non-functional. And so then that trait basically is removed from the animal. We're getting closer to being able to use these animals uh, to address issues in agriculture production, such as welfare issues, productivity issues, environmental impact of animals. So it's one of the tools in the toolbox farmers can use to improve their animals to better supply food to a growing human population. So this includes cattle, pigs, uh, sheep and goats mainly. So anytime we do a gene editing experiment, the whole goal is to improve the animal. So this is where our embryonic stem cells live. We are simulating the environment of the embryo, right? Not only by keeping it at the same internal temperature of the animal, but also by the media that we grow the cells in. It contains all sorts of growth factors and nutrients and all the things that the cell needs to be happy to grow. So in a way, I'm feeding the cells right now. Look at our cells under the microscope. Green cells that more specific morphology. They kind of look stretched out, almost triangular. And those are the live cells. These are all edited females. So we had five edited females born in the litter, and they're all growing very well. My part of the AVIC grant is to look at whether the genes and the edits that we put in the edited pigs transfers multiple generations. FDA points out that it hasn't been shown. These pigs are sort of a proof of concept. Does the edit work? Are there any issues that unexpected consequences? We have not seen any. They seem to be healthy. Everything looks really good to me. We may be able to take advantage of the tremendous improvements and efficiencies and improvements in animal welfare as a result of gene editing. We have to keep on doing the research and gathering all the data.